Hey guys, uh, this is Dawn. I am uh, out for a hike today along the Red River here and um, I'm still feeling like crap but I just, I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to get out. So I thought I'd come down here, it's not too far from home, and just take a short hike and make a meal down here by the river and um, take you guys along so stay with me and uh, we're gonna have some dinner just following the trail here and oh man let me tell you it's very humid so I'm sweating just from that and then they got me on high doses of antibiotics so that just makes you sweat even more Well, we're coming up on the spot here where I want to go, so I'm going to get up here, take my pack off, and I'll get back with you. Well, I found my spot here, and um, this area, I'm going to take my pack off here. Got my condor three day, let me just show you there. I got my Condor three day assault pack today just because I got a lot of stuff in there to cook my meal. Um, and uh, so that's why I got that pack. But you guys may recognize this spot. I shot a video here this spring with Jesse. And um, this is where all the trout and suckers were spawning and this whole area was underwater and there were fish running all through here and look at it now it's just all rocks there's hardly any water here now at all whoa it's a little slippery sorry about that I got a little trickle here and that's it But we do have some over here. And it's funny because as little bit of water there is, right underneath that bank I just saw a fish go through there. So there's still fish in here. But it does go all the way down. And it does eventually flow into the bay. So let me go ahead and start getting things set up here. We're going to try a meal tonight. I'm going to try something I haven't tried before. It's time to experiment to see if my idea works. So we'll see how it goes. Well, Stay guys, with me. I was going to do uh, cook a meal for part of this video and use some of these knives for the video, but... Um, I slipped on the rocks and took a face plant and well that on top of not feeling good to begin with I decided to skip the cooking thing and just go right to the part of the video that this was intended for. I was tagged by really big monkey one to show my three favorite bushcraft knives and um, so I wanted to go ahead and show them. And I actually have more than three laying here, but I'll show you my three favorite. And the first one is my Mora Robust Pro that I got from Jimmy the Fish. And this is a more beefier, thicker, stockier version of you know the regular ones and um, boy as you can see I use the hell out of this knife and honestly I've really kinda of beat it up I sharpen the spine on it not so I can use it to strike my ferro rods with it and um, kinda of got scratched up here but ooh, it is really sharp and guys I use this knife all the time and um, 
Jimmy, I still can't thank you enough for this knife, this gift. I absolutely love it, and it is definitely one of my favorites. I got mud all over the side of my face. Second. And these aren't in any particular order. Um, the first two, because... You know, that knife is thicker and beefier in the blade, so it can take a lot more abuse. But this knife that Tom Chitwood made for me, and I know you guys have seen him because he's made a lot of them for a lot of people, but this knife means so much to me. And I also use the heck out of this knife. Um, I'm, I know you guys have seen it in several videos already, but... It fits my hand absolutely perfect. This Kephart style knife is just perfect for, you know, everything I use it for. I couldn't say enough about it, and it is definitely, by far, one of my favorites. And thank you again, Tom, for that knife. And that little necker that goes with it, I love that thing. That baby is razor sharp. I use it all the time as well. And, but this I have as my favorite neck knife because um, I use this thing more than any neck knife I have. And I have a few of them. Uh, as you can see, I got some paracord wrapped on it and a little ferro rod that Tom gave me when he gave us the hammocks and a ranger band wrapped around it. And this is a little benchmark knife and I did a review on it. A while back and I had a different one one exactly like it that I actually lost and a friend of mine actually sent me another one this thing is just razor sharp and I clip it on the d-ring on my shoulder strap of my backpack and it hangs there and I take this baby off and cut it cut rope with it and use it for all kinds of fine tasks and it is just an awesome knife there so um, this is right up there with one of my three favorite bushcraft knives just because I use it in bushcraft stuff all the time and it's right there on my backpack so that's right up there with my top three I don't have a lot of bushcraft knives but you know, when you're out there crafting things for bushcraft, you often do a lot of carving, and that's why I put these two items in there, because even though, you know, my open L number eight, I mean, you do a lot of carving and a lot of whittling and a lot of small, fine woodworking stuff, and this is the carbon steel one, but I'm actually going to get one of the stainless steel ones to use for food prep and keep it right in, you know, keep it separate. I love this knife, guys, and it was hard for me to pick just three. So this is probably in, you know, with my top picks and my spoon carving knife. These two kind of go hand in hand for me. And uh, I know that this isn't a knife. But this has got to be in the top things in my bushcraft knife for cutting tools. So these are, you know, some of my top picks. And, um, you know, until I get, you know, some other bushcraft style knives and stuff, you know, these definitely do the, do the work I need for now. And I hope you like them. Uh... I'm supposed to tag some other people for this, but I know so many people have already done the videos. So if you guys are subscribed to me and you haven't done the video, why don't you just go ahead and uh, show me your your five or your top five or top three favorite bushcraft style knives, and I would love to see them. And just link your video in the comment section for this one. I would I would love that. And uh, thanks everybody for watching, and thank you, really big monkey one, for tagging me for this. I uh, 
Hope you like my choices. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Well, guys, I'm back home. And you can see where I took my face plant here and on my head, on my arm, and all up my left shoulder, which you can't see right now, and all down my left leg. And the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because I just, you know, what I did was really stupid. Um, I have a lot of background in medical training and and I guess even I have a tendency, not intentionally, of course, but you get complacent. You think, oh, I'm going to be close to home. Yeah, I don't really feel that great, but I'm not going very far. It's just going to be a quick meal and a quick video. I'll be all right. But what good does it do, you know? I... I ended up falling on these rocks and I was by the water and smashed my head and, you know, I hurt myself. I'm lucky I didn't get hurt worse. What happened, and I didn't realize it until after the fact, was I actually blacked out. I was bending over getting this stuff out of my backpack and I haven't eaten much because I've been so sick. And I actually blacked out and that's what made me fall and hit my head and fall in the river and stuff. And just think what could have happened if that water had been deeper. I could have drowned and died right there on the spot. So that was really stupid. Really stupid on my part. And I'm sharing this with you guys because hopefully it'll teach somebody else a lesson. And someone will learn something from this. And I'm kind of embarrassed and I feel really stupid. And I want to apologize for um, presenting myself in such a poor fashion and it won't happen again. I learned something from this and I hope everybody else does too. So I am going to go take a shower, get myself cleaned up and I'm going to go lay down and uh, you guys take care and um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.